it's great to buy American made and maybe even more stately to obtain items that originate in Ohio. But where can you easily find handmade pieces from our home state? Just hail, hail farm. On Saturday, September 1st, that homestead will house the third annual Made in Ohio Festival. Artist Renee Flynn is the organizer of the event and she's here with a sneak peek at some of the artistic objects. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. So why, why pick Hale Village or Hail Farm? Well, Hill Farm has a lot of artisans on site. Um, I don't know if you're familiar, they have glass blowing, they have a blacksmith, they have pottery, um, as well as candle making. Um, and so it was a, a great option for uh, having this festival. Um, to, they are already promoting Ohio artisans sure. um, historically, and so today's artisans were a good fit for that venue. And I understand there's a break on the price even that day. Yes, there is. It's typically $10 to get into Hale Farm and Village. And this day, uh, the entire uh, Hale Farm and Village will be open so that you can see all these artisans working. At, and uh, um, all the houses will be open with costumed historians in them. It's great. I've been there, especially with my kids, I've been there. And it's, you know, all the houses with all the different histories behind them. It's really a very fascinating place it anyway. Great, it's a great venue. So why make it then an Ohio-only festival? Um, I'm an exhibitor myself, and I was going to a lot of these different festivals, and I was seeing um, artisans from uh, Kentucky and Pennsylvania, Illinois, Indiana, and I really felt that we didn't have a place to just showcase Ohio artisans. And so um, I approached Hale Farm and Village and asked them if we could use their site to start this festival. All right, good. Well, you brought some of quite a few things here from artisans that are going to be um, showing. So tell us about some of the things. Um, we have quite a few different artists uh, that are going to be at the festival. We have woodworkers. We have weavers that make um, rugs. We have potters. Um, we have a lot of recycled products. This um, little animal as well as this tree are from recycled materials. This oh, is recycled glass. I think this is an elephant? It's an elephant yeah. and it used to be a sweater. Um, and we also have a lot of jewelry artists um, and we have um, different fibers that are represented and of course the, the uh, artists at Hale Farm and Village will also have a booth there okay. where they're going to be showing the um, basket weaving and um, the early the, Ohio the early Ohio art right okay and I know shopping can make you hungry so there's some place we can get something to eat uh, yes we uh, Hale Cafe is going to be open that day and we also have totally cooked catering that is going to be bringing their barbecue wagon with them and then we also have um, we have some vegetables here to represent our local uh, farmer from Amish country uh, he's with Healthy Heritage, uh, Wholesome Valley Foods. He's going to be attending as well. And then Hattie's Cafe is going to be selling some jarred sauces and uh, such. So there will be some, a lot of uh, Ohio foods represented there. <laughs> All right. Anything else like for the kids? Um, we do have a, a face painter that's going to be coming about face. And um, she will be painting the children's faces. We also have entertainment musically. Uh, we have quite a few different musical groups that will be coming throughout the day. Um, Are they going to be parading around the grounds? or um, We're going to have them in a couple locations, <laughs> and, um, but we will have some musical uh, entertainment all day. All right. Well, it sounds like a great day. I think I'm going to put it on my calendar. So We'll be happy to have everyone attend and, and bring your kids and your grandkids down to enjoy this wonderful event. Sounds good. So on Labor Day weekend, enjoy all of these artistic Ohio labors of love by attending the Made in Ohio Festival. To learn more, visit their website, which is www.madeinohiofestival.com, or give her Renee a call at Hale Farm. The number is 330-666-3711, extension 1721. My thanks to Renee for joining us today. Next. Avoid a double tax on IRA withdrawals.